Hello, hello everybody. This is Rio with Posh Plum Plans and today I am doing a entire pocketbook set up with the August 2017 Mommy Lay Little Bits box. So um, as the video started you saw the plethora of items that this kit has and I'm just kind of cleaning up, getting a workspace going so that I can start a couple projects. I'm not going to do a full um, unboxing of this kit because there are some really really good videos out there of unboxings already and uh, this one I'm just going to take you through some of the things that I'm using for my projects so let's first take a look at some of the papers that she's got included and they are gorgeous double-sided they're slightly glossy but so so pretty and I am going to start by making dashboards out of these So you're gonna see me do a lot of cutting in this video. I'm gonna try to speed through a lot of it because I know that's probably not the most entertaining thing ever. Um, but what I'm doing here is just doing the cuts for my dashboards. So I'm taking three and a half by five and a half sheets and I'm cutting them all together and making sure that I have the right size to put inside my little laminated pockets. So I'm doing three or four different dashboards here. There they are, there's my laminated pockets. I made these myself. There are tons of videos on how to make these pockets. Um, these are top loading laminated pockets that you can make yourself. You can actually purchase them from a lot of different stores on Etsy, but I just had the supplies in my house, so I wanted to make them. The last one that I didn't cut on camera was this Carpe That DM card, which is the card that shows all the different items that you're gonna get in the Little Bits box, and I just thought it was so cute, so I cut that one up and I'm gonna make a dashboard out of that one too. So here I am just putting in the little papers that I just cut into my laminated pouches here. It is a really tight fit, so that's why I struggle just a little bit with them. But putting them together is not a hard thing at all. Once you have these things cut, even if you have to, you can take just a little bit of length off the side just to get them in there easily. I probably should have done that on a couple of these, but you can definitely do that. They'll get in there nice and snug though. I love these designs from Mommy Lay. She's so creative and just one of a kind designs that I love. And I'm just gonna have so much fun theming my entire pocket notebook with this kit. So since the last one, the Carpe the DM, Carpe that DM doesn't have like a double-sided paper, I got some of my own gold wood grain cardstock to put in. So you'll see that. That's how I created that last one. There's all four of the designs that I've got. And the next little project I have is for my inserts. I made these inserts myself. Um, so that's why they've got these little covers on them that don't match the Mommy Lay kit, which I am changing here. That's what you're about to see me do, but I have a monthly kit, I have a weekly kit, and a daily kit. And since I made these myself with staples, I needed to take the staples off to get that cardstock cover off. So you're just seeing me go in very dangerously with an X-Acto knife, trying not to cut myself and prying these staples out so I can get this adorable polka dot cover off. I'm gonna save it and use it at another time, but for right now, I really want my entire pocket notebook to be themed with the August 27 Mommy Lay Little Bits box. So that's why I am taking this completely apart and just making the covers for my inserts. The measurements for these are going to be five and a half tall, and instead of cutting the three and a half um, inserts, sorry, instead of cover, cutting the three and a half, I'm cutting it to seven so that I can fold it in half over the insert. Okay, so now that I have this insert cut, I'm just going to fold it in half. Well, the cover, not the insert. I can fold the cover in half so that it'll fit nicely over my insert. And just tuck it in there. And there we go, nice and snug, good fit. 
So at this point, I just need to flatten it and staple it back together. So I line it up as best as I can here, and I happen to have a regular stapler that fits to the spine of a pocket notebook or a pocket insert, so I didn't have to get like a long reach stapler or anything. It actually just works out. So staple the spine together, just two staples will keep my book together. And that's basically it. Now I did wanna show you one thing about these books. These are handmade books. So I've basically just taken cardstock or copy paper and put the cover on it and it is pretty flush when it's flat. But as you can see here when it's folded, the pages do kind of stick out and it is a little, I guess, messy looking. It isn't a perfect flush cut, but I am okay with that. I like the look of a handmade worn in traveler's notebook. So if that bothers you, you might wanna purchase or even cut down your inserts, but that look doesn't bother me. Um, so the next one here is an insert that I made where I actually glued the last page to the insert and it's going to be nearly impossible for me to get that page off. So what I'm basically going to do now is just cut my next few inserts and glue these into the inside of them. But I'm trying to keep with the Mommy Lay theme. So I've got some other paper that I want to use and it is just this bright grass green color that I thought was so pretty. There was several greens to choose from in the Mommy Lay kit. Um, so I just went to my Michaels and got a green that I liked. I like this bright kit. There was more of a, a teal or even a mint that you could go with, but with this bright pink, I thought it just went really well. I think I'm just not over summer yet, and I really wanted some bright color, so that's why I chose this pink and this green. But I'm cutting this again, a uh, height of five and a half inches by seven and a half, nope, sorry, seven inches. Actually, I think I did cut these seven and a half. I gave myself a little extra room. That way, um, some of these inserts are a little bit thicker than others. So I cut it at seven and a half inches long. That way, once I put the insert on the inside, and by the way, I'm just folding and then uh, increasing that fold with a, a bone. Oh my gosh, what is that thing called? A bone folder? Let's go with that. Um, so I straighten the edge a little bit, put my booklet in here, and it's just a little tiny bit too big. I'm okay with that. So I'm just gonna staple this here, and then later on off camera, I think I actually do trim it down a bit, but I wanted it just a little bit big because I know that this insert's kind of thick and once it gets folded over, I didn't want it to be too small for the insert then. So I've got my spine all done on this one, just kind of folding it together. And I've got two done now. So I've got the black and white stripes from Mommy Lay and then the pink that I got myself from Michaels. Now if you are having a little bit of difficulty doing this, holding things still, you can use these tiny little binder clips. So I've got two of them, one on each side here. One is actually holding the insert pages and then the other one is holding the insert to the cover. So between the two clips, I got a really nice firm hold and uh, nothing slipped out of the way or nothing, yeah, nothing slipped. So just getting these together, I like to fold them a little bit extra with my hand and make them a little bit worn in. But I'm now gonna use my scotch. This is permanent. Um, glue dots or glue adhesive, so I'm just going to put it on the old cover and then press it down so that you won't see these pineapples anymore. Now I do understand that these inserts are for much more than a month, so next month when the September kit comes for Mommy Lay and these greens and pinks don't match, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I guess just recover it or very carefully try to peel the pink and green off. But um, I don't know, this process is just making me happy now and I guess I haven't really perfected what I want to do with these inserts going forward as far as matching them to the kit, but I'm enjoying matching my entire notebook to this kit. I just, the finished product makes me so happy to look at, so I'm okay with it. My green, my pink, all done. And the original stripes that I started with. Okay, so I just want to do a tiny little flip through 
so far so you can see what I've got going on between the first dashboards that I did and then the insert covers that I just made so it's looking pretty themed pretty cute and um, I don't know for some people you're probably looking at this going it's kind of plain there's no embellishments yeah it's themed and yeah the colors match but we'll be getting to the embellishments in just a minute here I do like a, a certain amount of white space I guess with planners so I'm not gonna go full to the nine you can see how chunky it's getting it's not too bad yet and the cute little bow that comes in the kit so I'm not gonna go too crazy but here's my bag of tricks this hey girl hey bag actually came with the kit and what I'm pulling out now are the die cuts that were included now I took all of the die cuts and I laminated them because apparently I want them to last forever they are just to die for. And I love them all, so you'll see some shininess on my die cuts here. Let's get the bag out of the way, kind of get everything situated and laid out so we can kind of see what I have to work with. But yes, I laminated and then cut each one of these out. They come like this separately, so when you laminate them, you have to cut them out again. So this is really the fun part, is going through the planner and looking at the die cuts and the little embellishments and kind of deciding where things are gonna go. The first thing I wanna do is take this super cute girl with the cucumbers on her eyes and just kind of stick her in the front pockets. So flipping through this, I'm just trying to decide what I wanna do and I've decided that I'm gonna put some of these on my insert covers. So the first one is gonna be the stripes and I am gonna put this Hello Gorgeous on. There are a couple of these die cuts where as soon as I saw them, I knew immediately that I had to use them and highlight them in my planner. So this Hello Gorgeous was one that I definitely wanted to use and it is so perfectly uh, matched to this background. I think it's great. Um, the other girl is this chic. I don't know, I just love her dress. She looks so chic. I love her hair. I love the whole look of this girl. She's just super, super cute. So she goes on next. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. So cute. And then next I decide on the little shopping bag or the little purse. And I just think that completes the cover. It's really nice. I don't like things too, too crazy, too decorated, I guess. Whoa, baby video, video bomb. <laughs> if you caught that, that was my little girl, my youngest, putting her stickers in the way. Because she likes to play stickers too. So yeah, I just think that cover is perfect, just the way that it is. It's not too much, but it's really pretty. Next one is the hot pink. And this one I think is my weekly, which I use the most um, as far as planning goes. My monthly spread gets kind of like bullet points. And so I'll look at my monthly spread and I'll see something on there that reminds me, but it might not have as much detail as I need. So I might see something that says work late. And I'll be thinking, okay, why do I have to work late this day? I don't remember. So I'll flip to my weekly spread and then I'll have the details of why I need to work late. Like maybe I'm covering for a coworker or maybe we're having an event. Um, but the weekly is where the majority of my plans are. So that's why I wanted to use plan on this insert, which goes for my weekly spread. I am a horizontal planner, which I know can be kind of strange because most people are vertical. I can do it both ways, but for some reason I just like to write out in full sentences. So horizontal planning really works better for me. Okay, almost done with this one. And then a couple little hearts, I think. And just trying to figure out where I want these to go. That's cute. But I also like this arrow. Mm. Too much white space up there. I think I'll put the hearts up here and then put the arrow down here. Yep, that makes me happy. And another one done. So cute. 
Last but not least is the green one, which is my daily insert. And I had some trouble with this one, deciding what I wanted to do. This little girl in Warrior, is that Warrior One? Yeah, let's go with that. She's in Warrior One and she is just to die for. I love her so much and I wanted to use the light pink to accent this green because she's in light pink, but I definitely had some trouble deciding what I wanted to use. There's just so much in this kit, so many great little die cuts that you can choose from. And as you'll be able to see at the end of this, I had tons left over, so I'll have things that I can add I don't know, as the months go on or the, the weeks go on or even the days if I decide to put some of this stuff on my daily pages, I'll have tons left over to add in. Um, there's even bookmarks that I could do. There's all kinds of other things that I could use, but I definitely had a lot left over and it was just so hard to decide what to use. I wanted to use them all. <laughs> there we go. That looks good. Do you ever just design something and it's just not looking right, it's just not looking right, and then finally you put it together and it feels right? Does that ever happen to you? That's what happens to me all the time. I just know it's right because of the way that I feel when I look at it. Okay, don't judge me. I know it sounds crazy. But if it makes me feel happy, then I'm good. Get this little cactus on here. Now this is so funny to me. I put him on there, didn't quite like the angle, carefully pulled him up and then put him down in the exact same spot. <laughs> oh well, love it though. Love yourself. Okay, so I'm done with that one. Let's kind of clean up the last bits here and I'll just set those aside to be used later for other projects. So now let's get these bad boys in here. That's just a flip of the dashboards that we made earlier. And then I want to get my inserts in here. So first is my monthly. And a lot of people put these under their elastics in the middle of the book. They'll find the middle of the book. I don't do that. I actually find the page that I need and that's where the elastic goes. So I know it's kind of strange, but there you go. You can see that I'm not finding the middle. I'm just finding the next page that I need to put in and that's where my elastic goes. It's another way to mark the page. So when it pops open, it pops to the page I need anyway. And it kind of eliminates any need for clips or bookmarks or dash tabs or anything like that. Not that I'm eliminating that from my planner, but I just like that when I pop it open, it's on the page that I want anyway. And the last one here, I don't yet have an insert. I'm gonna put my budgeting in there, but mine is a really specific way to budget. Mm, look how cute and chunky. So I'm gonna come up with that um, insert myself. Unless you guys know of any really good budgeting inserts for pocket TNs, leave it in the comments below because I'm looking for one. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna design my own. Okay, what is next in this little bag of tricks? The confetti. I was so excited to see that this kit came with confetti. I'm not sure if they all do, but I was really excited about it. Oh, and there's the washi. The washi it came with is gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do with these is make shaker dash covers, I guess you could say. Um, I saw a lot of people going through their unboxing and not really sure what to do with the sequins. Um, if you ask Lay, I'm not really sure what she would recommend, but I think this was a really good solution and a really good project for the confetti. And you can see I'm taking it apart so carefully because every part of the packaging is gorgeous and I want to somehow save it all. That little card with the black and white bows and the green border at the bottom, I just thought it was so cute. So somehow I want to save it. Here we go, lots of gorgeous confetti with that green and the black and the hot pink kind of looks like a magenta color. I just poured everything out, grabbed my, the same kind of top loading um, laminated cards that I had made before for my other dash covers. I made some more for the shaker cards and just put two really good pinches in each side. I'll show you how I'm gonna seal it up. I don't have one of those little sealer pens. Um, 
I mean, I guess I could get one of those, but I really like the option that I chose for sealing these a little bit better. I think it's super pretty. And I'll show you that in just a second here. So once I get these two good pinches in there, that makes me happy. I like the amount of confetti that's in there. Now I am going to seal it with the washi. And of course it just keeps it themed using the washi to seal the little shaker cards. Uh oh, losing some. I thought it was a really good option to um, keep it in the theme of the August 2017 kit. So here I go, I'm gonna try to get this sealed so that none of this glorious confetti comes out as I'm moving my planner around, planning, transporting it, whatever I do with this gorgeous little planner. I just wanna make sure none of this confetti is going to fall out. I don't wanna lose a single piece of it. So down goes the washi and I try to center it halfway so that I can fold it over on the other side and that in turn is going to make my seal to make sure that none of the confetti comes out. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna cut down those sides there but I just got so excited <laughs> looking at what I did here. Um, I wanted to put it in the book right away so I could see how it would look. And I'm basically gonna put them behind each insert, but in front of each dashboard, if that makes sense. So you'll see how I get it in here in just a second. I'm gonna slip it behind the insert. And then when you open it, you see the dashboard first. And then there is the glitter or the confetti shaker page, and then my insert. So that's how I'm gonna put it in. And I'm gonna to try to make four of these for each of my inserts in here. <laughs> It just makes me happy. <laughs> so just so you don't have to watch me make all of those, I'll make them off camera. And there they are. So I put the washi at the top and the bottom. I just thought that finished it really nicely and that confetti is in there and it's not going anywhere. Um, you could do a ton of other things with these. You could put the rest of the die cuts in there along with it. You could put even a full page of cardstock in there and then put the glitter on top. But like I said, I'm a little bit more minimalistic. I don't like too, too much going on in my planner because I do like to make sure that it stays functional but I did think that this was a pretty little embellishment that I could add in here. So I'm just gonna add all four of these to my inserts right now. There's the first one. And it looks so cute on the stripes and the cheetah. Then behind my weekly section. I just think they look so pretty, especially on the the, the back of the pages, um, so the pages that are kind of meant to be more background-ish that aren't main focal pages, like when it's on the gold, or even that I think is pretty, even on a white sheet of paper. <laughs> it's getting kind of thick now, so it was a little bit difficult to hold that open and get the last one in, but I definitely made it. And the confetti just looks so pretty on those stripes. I love those big, thick black and white stripes. I think they look so chic and just kind of bring the whole thing together, the whole kit together without adding too much, I guess, too much busyness. But there we are, all my shakers in there. I'll do one quick flip through again for you. And I changed the front constantly, so there's some different die cuts and I took out the little um, post-it notes that she had, but I'll return them later. So here's a little flip through. So you can see where we are currently with the planner. Just so pretty and so much happiness as you go through it. Another thing about the planners, like this one doesn't have any vellum or acetate or anything in there. Everything shiny that you see is all laminating pages. And uh, I just don't really like planners that have things that can fall out. So when people make pockets, um, and they just put like little die cuts and things in there. The idea of them falling out of my planner really bothers me because I don't ever want to lose anything that I put in here. 
So um, that's why I don't have a lot of other little embellishments like that because I don't want anything falling out. So if you guys have any solutions for how to put little die cuts or things in your planner, folders, whatever, whatnot, that would ensure that they'd stay in there without falling, just leave that in the comments below for me because I'm always trying to learn something new about these traveler's notebooks. Okay, so the last little project that I'm gonna do here, let me grab it as soon as I'm done fixing the confetti. <laughs> The last little project is the dash tabs, I'm going to call them. They're not technically dash tabs. They came um, in the Mommy Lay kit. This is actually one that I modified. They came in the Mommy Lay kit like this, and they're not laminated. I laminated them. So there was a week and to do and today. And I love the designs, of course, because they're gorgeous and they go with the theme of the kit, but they're just a little bit too big for my pocket. This is the notebook that came with it and I think it was more sized for the traveler's notebook that was included in the kit and I'm gonna keep using my pink dot pocket just because I love it so much I'm gonna find another use for the pink traveler's notebook that came in the kit but for now I'm gonna try to modify these bookmarks so that they fit really nicely into my pocket planner so I sized this one down a little bit there we go you can see the size difference and I cut off the word to do, sorry, today that was on that one. And you'll kind of see me do that here. Now, yes, it did hurt to cut into something so beautiful that she designed, but I just really had it in my mind to modify these and customize them perfectly. There you go, to do and week, or today and week. I just wanted to modify it so that it fit perfectly and made me happy inside my planner. And that's another great thing about these kits is they are so easy to customize. So I'm basically just gonna get this guy lined up to match the size of my other bookmark here. I wanna make sure that I've got it centered right so that the design that I want gets centered on the bookmark as well. Okay, now that I've got them all marked up, just gonna carefully cut through them. And then I'm actually gonna cut off the rest of the clear lamination that was sticking out of the side. Now, a lot of people will tell you not to do that because your lamination can come undone. Um, but for the purpose of these bookmarks or dash tabs, I don't really mind they're thick enough and I don't think that they're gonna get ruined. Plus, with the way that I'm gonna use them, it won't really matter, as you'll see here in just a minute, how I'm gonna use them. But the lamination didn't come undone at all. And it gave me a much more precise sizing of the bookmarks. So I like how they came out. Okay, so here's all three of them done. Now you can see that I did a monthly label on the top of the first one so I have a weekly section and a daily section that I want to add so I'll have those words here just flip this around I have those words here that I'm going to glue to the top so there's my weekly and I made these in my Cricut machine I just chose a font that I really liked and underlined uh, with a little line there and cut them out on the cardstock that I already had purchased for the dash covers that I made earlier. So the pink and the green still go with the kit. And everything still seems nice and themed. So there's my monthly done and my weekly done. And the last one is gonna be daily. And I love, again, the color scheme. This hot pink or magenta pink, I don't even know what you would call it. It's just such a pretty hue matched with these greens. I just think it's gorgeous. Plus you throw those stripes in there. Not that I'm gonna use the stripes right now. I'm just using that as a glue backing, but I love, just love it. I'm so obsessed. <laughs> I'll stop talking about it now. <laughs> okay, so I've got my daily all ready to go. Pop down there. Perfect. And that's all three of them done. My monthly, my weekly, and my daily. I'm just gonna grab my planner here and show you how I wanna use them. There's a couple different ways that you can, a couple ways that I prefer over other ways, but you can just toss it right in there like a bookmark. And it sticks out the top, so you can still see it just a little bit. I don't like tabs that stick out too, too much um, because they increase the size of the planner a little bit too much for my liking. So you can throw it in there like a little bookmark or like a little tab 
and it just goes with the entire theme of it. Or something else that I thought about doing was just sticking it in the back of the dashboard. Here we go. Because you guys know I have a fear of losing things in my planner. I don't want to have things falling out of the back or falling out of the bottom. So a safe way to secure these guys in here is to just put them in the back of the dashboards. And you can center them and push a couple off to one side or the other so they look like um, stack tabs. And that's kind of what I've done here. It does cover up a little bit of the inside dashboard, but it's not the end of the world. I don't think it's that serious. And you can kind of see how the tabs look now. I'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can get a better look. Now the way that I have them in here right now is kind of cutting off the words and that's okay with me because I know what they say. I can still easily grab them and go to the page that I'm looking for. And I know that nothing's going to fall out of the bottom. So that is one option. That's probably the option that I'm going to stick with. But if it does bother you, you can always pull the tabs up just a little bit so you can see the entire word. So here in just a second, I'm going to pull this up so you can see the entire daily word. And because of the lamination here, uh, the bookmarks are laminated and the dash tabs or the dashboards are laminated. Gosh, there's so much vocabulary when it comes to the planning world. Because everything is laminated, it all kind of sticks to one another and all kind of holds in the same place. So if I leave my daily tab that high, it'll be fine. It'll just kind of stay there. Or you can take it out and just put it on the page that you're looking to mark. So you've got a couple different options here. I haven't fully decided on the method that I'm going to use yet, but I do know that sticking it inside the dashboard does make me feel a little bit more confident that I'm not going to lose the tab. So there is my planner, all nice and cute and chunky with the little bow that came with the kit too. Again, I, I'm not going to do an entire unboxing because there are so many great videos. I think Mommy Lay actually even has an unboxing video of the entire kit. I know she did like a live Instagram of it and I saw it there. <laughs> I love shaking it because I can hear it, all the confetti on the inside. But there are some great things that come in this planner too. I didn't show everything and these are the little to-do notes or the, the post-it notes kind of that she included, sticky notes. And I just glued on some heavy cardstock on the back and cut it so that it fits really perfectly in that first tab or that first pocket. So here's just a final flip through of what I've got going and what I did with the kit. And I think it is so perfect. I love how everything is themed and just goes together. That really, really works for my OCD. When I see these beautiful flip throughs with other girls in their traveler's notebooks, I see all these great things from all these other shops, but for some reason, my brain just can't process that there's so many different colors and so many different themes and it just kind of ends up looking a little bit messy to me. So I really love this option here of having my entire planner in the same theme. Like it just makes sense to me, it makes me happy. I just really, really like the way that it finally came out. And it is nice and chunky, which seems to be a thing when it comes to these traveler's notebooks. See, this is where you can also add a, a couple more embellishments if you wanted to, to the bookmarks. You could add a couple extra things here. I don't think I'm going to though. I really like the way that it came out. You can even put them on the back since I've got some white space there. But I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is. I love the way that the planner came out. It's not too busy for me. Uh, I don't feel overwhelmed when I look at it. I think it's just the perfect amount of pretty. I cannot wait to see what Mommy Lay comes out with for next month. I'll have probably another one of these videos tearing this whole thing apart and putting it back together with the new kit. Thanks for watching guys. Share, like, and subscribe.